hi capricorn welcome in to your november monthly so capricorn i had to pull a few cards for you um you know i feel like this is a good reading i feel like you just need that like big sister love or like that like mentor type of like talk like you need someone to like motivate you and really pump you up and really give you that validation and i am here to do that my friend my love okay capricorn i feel like you don't give yourself enough credit capricorn is a very hard working energy and when you're so hard working i feel like it's important to have just as much or maybe even more um fun and play and laughter and like relaxation okay you work hard you need to play hard i feel like there's something that you don't see coming well there definitely is something that you don't see coming and it's not bad it's good it's you being successful. It's you being emotionally stable and happy. It's you living relaxed, carefree. It's you living without anxiety. If you're someone who has anxiety, like that's not going to be there forever. You're going to get to a point in your life where you don't have to feel like the world can end at any moment. You don't have to feel anxious to go anywhere. You're going to be relaxed. You're going to be secure in yourself and how you feel. And you've done the work to get here don't i feel like you've done a lot of self-work already don't let anyone take that away from you don't get to a point where you feel like your life is so good like you're so peaceful that you have to like fuck it up somehow if that makes sense like and i do feel like things are changing for you but it's a good change um You know, the tides are really turning for you because you're moving with integrity, because you know what you want, because you're working so hard to get it. You're working ambitiously, fearlessly. You're working with good intentions. You're curating a life of wealth, luxury, fortune, opportunity. So keep doing what you're doing. Don't feel like less than don't feel like you're doing this for no reason or don't feel like you're not doing good enough or that you're not going to get to where you want because you are and this is the energy that you have to be in this is the type of things you know you get hit with adversity you might get hit with doubt but you have to persevere and move move through because you've accomplished so much so far Things manifest on the spiritual plane before they materialize. You're going to feel your manifestations energetically before you can touch it. When you can envision something and feel that type of energy, be on that type of frequency, you know it's coming. So don't let anyone make you feel less than. Don't let anyone make you feel less than. You are your own teacher. You are your own guide. This is your life. You are the main character. We have godly. You have a god-like complex about you. And it's really time for you to step into that. We have 5D or beyond. You're operating in a different dimension. Your aura, your frequency, <coughs> your mindset is literally on the fifth dimension or beyond. So like a lot, like if people are falling off, if you can't even sometimes comprehend what's going on, it's because you're literally not in the 3D, you're operating in a different dimension. So you have to adjust to a higher frequency we have contemplation, Virgo energy, um, but you're definitely thinking, you've been plotting, you've been planning, like you have knowledge. This is your rite of passage. You can proceed, you can go to the next level. You, you are 
on the next level so start acting like it stop doubting yourself we have abundance stop doubting yourself you need to take those steps forward so like you just need to embody the the highest version of yourself walk with your chin up your shoulders back walk like a king or a queen okay put yourself on a pedestal because like i said you have a godlike complex about you you are a god you are a goddess act like it it's not about acting like you're better than everyone it's just about stepping into your confidence being a god or a goddess okay so that's what i have for you capricorn well actually what's the time at oh, only five minutes let me write the title down really quick because before i forget i'm gonna put stop doubting so. <coughs> I'll pull a few more oracle and then that'll be your reading. Let's see what angel god or god is you're working with, Capricorn. What angel god or goddess is Capricorn working with? I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry or I don't know if you guys like tortilla chips or like chips and queso, chips and salsa, chips and guacamole. I don't know why I'm getting that taste in my mouth right now. That's so random. Maybe I'm just hungry, but Loki, can you get down please? We have goddess of knowledge. Start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. Look, I just picked this up. You have love and commitment coming towards you as well. But that's a side note. Spirit didn't really want me to tell you that. But I will because I saw it. So that's not what you need to focus on. You need to focus on yourself. But, you know, like everything is already written. And once you really start to get into alignment with yourself you'll start to get into alignment with your perfect love everyone has a perfect love okay but you have to learn what love even is first you have to learn how to love yourself first we have the king to the queen of cups like that's probably my favorite um couple to like see when we're talking about love because that's true pure authentic genuine love someone that's so in love with you someone who's loyal someone that you can trust okay that is coming towards you but that's like once you really start to boss up and be that bitch or that man you know once you really start to you know empower yourself and and start to see this sh how you shift other people's lives as well because yeah big energy big boss energy god like complex you you're going to impact the world okay so you need to start acting like that you know you need like you need to focus on yourself you don't need to be messing around with other people and confusing your own energies in time your perfect love is going to come trust it's going to be you know that person will probably come when you least expect it when you're so busy focused on you that's just like oh shit okay universe like i see you like thank you shout out to the universe like okay so i love you capricorn i'll see you bye